Hey everyone, welcome to the podcast Outlaws. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas here bringing another podcast episode your way. And as you guys can see, there is no Lord Nico in sight. He's too busy driving around in his new Jeep or whatever the hell you want to call it, but it's okay. You guys can be uh, thankful. You got the king. There's a reason why I'm the king. Even with uh, busted hand surgery three days later or two days later, I can't even know what the hell day it is. I'm here to bring a new episode your way because even in pain, the king can still rule comfortably from above his throne. That's why I'm the king and he's just Lord Nico. Let's just say that, you know, thank God. Long live the king, right? Anyways, guys, I'm not here to chirp about why I'm here. I'm dying in pain or whatever the hell talking to all you yahoos there, you morons. But I'm here because I felt the need that I still have to commit. If I made a commitment, the king is here dead or alive. But don't worry. Lord Nico is going to hear an earful. He'll be here tomorrow for the after show, the Royal Rumble after show uh, thing. We're going to talk about what our thoughts on the Rumble and all that fun stuff. But anyways... I'll make a quick uh, thing here. I'm here to do the Royal Rumble. But before I do that, I want to do my NFL picks for tomorrow's, I guess, semifinals. AFC final, guys. The king is Baltimore and Kansas City. I'm going with Kansas City. I don't like either of the teams, but I think KC is going to pull it off and go to the Super Bowl and defend its crown. Now, who do I think is going to come out the top? My heart says the 49ers, but for some reason in my gut, my gut's telling me the Detroit Lions, but I'm going to stick with the 49ers. So I'm predicting a San Francisco, Kansas City Chiefs should have been the Bills if they didn't choke in the finals, but we know what the Bills stand for. Figure out the letters. Bills, right? Boy, I love losing Super Bowls. Even if they would have made it, I don't think it would have won anyways, but whatever. It is what it is, but my NFC... Winner or pick to go to the Super Bowl, 49ers, San Francisco, and of course the AFC, the Kansas City Chiefs. So it'll be a Kansas City Chiefs versus 49ers Super Bowl in my prediction. Last week, 2-2. Two and two. I don't know. I think Lord Nico did about the same thing too, but whatever. It is what it is. If you knew all the time, well, I'm wise anyways. I know usually I am right half the time, but those are the NFL picks. So I wanted to get that out of the way. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about this year's 2024 WWE Royal Rumble that's happening later today. And I'm telling you right now, from what I know, there's four match cards or matches on the uh, wrestling card today. You got the Women's Royal Rumble. You got the Men's Royal Rumble. And then you have, uh, what do you call it? Oh, my God. Bl drawing a blank here. Kevin Owens versus that loudmouth Logan Paul. It's going to be a phenomenal match. I know it's going to be a crazy match. It's going to be a brutal match. It's going to be a couple of oh shit moments here and there. But when it comes down to it, I think Logan Paul is going to steal this victory. Because I can't see him losing it right now. I see him maybe going to WrestleMania. And then perhaps colliding with an LA Knight for that title. So I'm picking Logan Paul for my pick. Uh, the other match, of course, is the Fatal 4-Way. The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, against AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. You got Randy Orton, the Viper, and you got L.A. Knight. It's going to be crazy. I don't know what the hell's going to happen, but all I know is the Tribal Chief will rise victorious, raising his hand in the air and getting the salute from all of us, the acknowledgement that he deserves. He's going to win this one. I don't know if it's going to be clean. I don't know if it's going to be a cash-in. All I know, someone could even show up. Maybe another member of the Bloodline is going to show up because he looked kind of smug and confident on the last SmackDown show after he signed the contract because he said he wasn't going to sign it, that all of a sudden he's going to sign it. So he must have some backup contingency plan to keep his title. But either way, the other Yahoos are going to go after each other and he can just spear somebody and just sneak a win. That's why when you have these four ways, you don't know who the hell's going to come out on top. Usually you think it's not going to get the champ favorite for the champs. It's going to be favorite champion. So, okay, anyways, ladies, Royal Rumble. What the hell do I think? Who do I think is going to win it? From what I think, guys, I think it's going to be Bailey, my personal opinion, or Becky Lynch. That's who I see winning in this because it's going to set up storylines moving forward towards WrestleMania. 
Bailey, you already seen what's going on with damage control. You just the other night, uh, Asuka and Kerry Zane just won the women's title. So everybody in that group, minus the Kodakai who's still injured, has a title. So what's the point of her being there? She's like the black sheep of the whole group. So they're kind of giving her looks and vibes. So I think they're going to turn on her on the Royal Rumble. Something's going to happen because she can cash in on anybody. She can even cash in on Neo Sky if she wanted to go that route. If a particular somebody doesn't show up because the king still believes that the boss is going to show up. You know, I have a funny feeling. She might show up. There might be a couple others. As for my final four women in the ring, I think I could see maybe like a Nia Jax. I can see a Becky Lynch. I can see maybe a returning Liv Morgan because she hasn't been around. I think she might be in there. And, of course, my pick to wick the Rumble. I don't think Ronda's going to show up, but you never know, for God's sakes, right? But, uh, and uh, the winner, who I'm choosing to win, Bailey. Those are my final four. Let's see, unless damage control tosses her out, then you know it's not going to happen. So my Royal Rumble women's winner is Bailey. Surprise me if it's going to be Becky Lynch, but I don't think it's going to be. Okay, the men's Royal Rumble now. That's going to be crazy. I don't know what the hell's going to go on. I don't know who's going to show up, but I know my final four, probably Drew McIntyre. Um, Gunter, I know he has to be in there because he just needs to be there. Um, who, we don't even know who else is going to be. Those are the two for sure, okay? Um, Sami Zayn, if he shows up, I think he's going to be there as well. And if I had to pick a fourth, I don't know, it's going to be some low-life whatever, nobody. Like, I hope it's not somebody from the New Day because I'm going to be really pissed off. So Drew McIntyre, Sami Zayn. Maybe a Sheamus who hasn't been there for a while if he shows up. And whoever the hell else. I don't know. But who do I think is going to win? Maybe Brock Lesnar. You never know if he shows up too. I don't think so. But my winner of this year's... Oh, sorry. CM Punk. Cody Rhodes. Sorry. King lost his mind for a second, man. Surgery, guys. The drugs. The medication. Sorry. Let me rewind that. Delete it. Cody Rhodes. Drew McIntyre. CM Punk. And maybe a Sami Zayn will be my final four in the men's. Who's going to damn win it? I still believe that CM Punk's going to win. I That's who I'm picking because that's going to piss off a lot of people. And you can only imagine the storylines moving forward. So there you go, guys. That is the King's official Royal Rumble predictions. Is it going to happen in surprises and all that shit? You don't know. King doesn't know. That's why it's the Royal Rumble for a thing. It's that excitement. You don't know who's going to come in. What surprises? Because at any time, those picks can go out of the window depending on who the hell is going to damn show up, right? Who knows? But those are my picks. So Men's Royal Rumble, CM Punk. Women's will be, uh, what do you call it? Bailey. Unless AJ Lee shows up, that's going to be something too, okay? Uh, you're going to have Roman keeping his title, thanks to some help, I'm thinking. Will there be a cash-in? Don't know. I think there might be some shenanigans. And uh, the women's, I'm picking Bailey, unless something haywire goes down. So there you go, guys. That's the King's official picks for the Royal Rumble. You guys go in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think. Keep it clean, but honestly, I don't care because my picks are going to be right. Yours are going to be wrong. So we're kicking off the new King's record. Let's see what the King's going to be moving. Could it be 4 and 0? 0 and 4? Who knows? It's a new year for my uh, so called unpeckable record. Uh, you know, I think uh, other people have better picks than the King, but whatever. We'll see what it is moving forward. That's my picks. Check out, leave your NFL picks. Do you guys agree with me? That's all up to you guys. Leave the comment section below. May read them, may not read them, but you know what? I don't care. But the King still appreciates all you guys showing up, watching us here on YouTube land. So until next time, stay off the King's throne. Be the hell good. Leave this King alone. Kick Lord Nichols' butt whenever he decides to show up. But don't worry. King is going to have some royal justice, royal family matters to take care of tomorrow on our channel if he decides to show up after the whooping he's going to get after the Royal Rumble. Anyways. Tune in tomorrow for that, the Aftermath show. He'll be here. I want to hear what he has to say for himself. But those are my picks. Enjoy. Enjoy the Rumble. Enjoy the playoffs for the NFL because I'll be watching all day. Can't do much with this sucker. You know, pain or no pain, going to be enjoying the Royal Rumble. So until next time, 
Be the hell good, and I'll see you guys where? Right here on the Podcast Outlaws.